This is continuing my series of thought processes and decision making in the game, and this is number two. In this video, we're going to look at a game, two mastery games, but one is a loss and one is a win. And we're going to look at the thought processes and break it down. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz. And as I said in the intro, this is number two of my series, Thought Processes and Decision Making in the Game. Now, this is the first game. We're in a Smasher, so we're in a lower tier. We're in tier seven, and it's a supremacy game. In fact, we're running double Smashers here. I'm rolling out with the gaming tanker of the clan LBC. And I've already said to the team, I'm gonna to go to the B cap. Why? Well, I've already looked at their team makeup and I think we're going to get quite a bit of trade at the A cap. So I'm already pre-aimed, just in case nothing came up, however. There he is. He's over there. He's a Tigger. So can we get? Yeah, we switch to AP. We put a nice roll, 512 into him. I'm then going to push forward, stay in the cap. That way they can't get shots onto me. Now I'm going to move around this corner. I can see that the Tiger's still there. I can't get anything on the KV, but I am the Tiger still rolling forward. Can we get the turret? Yes, we can. We get another 520 into him. Now, the Smasher itself is a very, very powerful tank. In fact, a lot of people say it's OP and it's broken. And to an extent, that is quite true. But like all tanks, even the OP broken ones, you've still got to know how to play it and your decision making and thought process still helps out there. So now I'm able to get good shots into this KV. I'm also able to drop into the B cap and make sure we get double caps. I've already, sorry, the A cap. I've already taken the B cap. I'm now going to take the A cap. I'm not worried about the KV. Um, that's the Russian gunner because the Smasher realistically is based on a Russian tank. And the gunner is equally as incompetent when he wants to be. So now we've got two bases. We are losing tanks. They're losing tanks. We, however, are in a relatively good position here, or so you would think. So now we're going to push through, and nothing spotted. So we're hope. Oh, there's the T71. Let's load the HE and see what we can do. Ah, oh, well, we can wipe him out in one go. Why? He's a T71. He has really bad, bad armor. Paper thin. He's a good light tank. Very fast. Very mobile. He shouldn't have been sat there. Now we're looking at the Pantera. He just pops behind the rock, but chances are he's gonna pop out again. There he is, and we get another high roll. So now we're already at 3,190. Is it 98 damage? Yes, it is 98 damage. So we're doing well damage-wise. We've got good caps. We're whittling them down. We've got more tanks on the battlefield. There's an IS. Load the HE, sorry, load the AP. Stick a 700 into him get him out of the game if we can. Now I've got my tomb mate there. He should be able to finish him off, maybe. If not, then I can. Load again, put the AP in, and boom, there he goes. So now there's only two tanks left, but I can see that the B cap is being taken. So I want to take out this Panther. I don't, my tomb mate does. I've done 4,400 damage. And now this is where it all goes wrong. So we've got four against one. Their one is a T49, I believe. I am close to the B cap here. And this is where I lose the game effectively. Instead of going for the B cap, I'm going to go for the T49. Why? Because I'm stupid and I get greedy like we all do. Because I'm thinking I want a mastery. They've now got all the cap points. We're not gonna get any more caps. We're on 900 and something. We, you know, we're a, a whisker away. I'm right next to the B cap. I should have taken the B cap, but I didn't. That cost us the game. And that was me that cost us the game. Although you could be argued that I'm a heavy and there's two light, there's a light and a medium out there and they could have really done some assistance but they didn't however i was close to the b cap our light tank finally gets into the a cap but it's too late they've got two caps they're going to win we're going to lose 
that is a fundamental mistake and that is somebody i.e me chasing something and i shouldn't have done it yes i got the mastery but we lost the game and that really really hurts so don't always chase after those aces guys don't always chase after the kill keep your eye on the points as well next game up we're rolling out in a 215b i like the 215b but a lot of people don't a lot of people seem to struggle in this tank like they do all the british tanks now the 215b is a nice nice heavy when it is hauled down this thing is an absolute monster it will bounce almost anything that is thrown at it to be perfectly honest with you now i've already seen the makeup of their team i've seen they've got a grill and they've got a waffle tractor and they've got a scattering of really good tanks so i'm going to go towards the a cap again i'm with a teammate he's in a sheridan and i'm heading towards the a cap why because the c cap on this map from this side is actually a nightmare so the a cap for me along with the b cap is actually a better option because i've got more haul down capability over this side of the map than the other side of the map we can already see that they're taking the b cap so what i'm going to do i can see one of my teams in trouble i'm just going to yolo straight down there and see if i can help him out i can see now that there are tanks behind us and there are tanks in front of us there's a crown dragon can't get anything onto him I'm going to keep going because I can see the WZ121 and the T20, and our T22 is struggling. I may be able to get some good shots into the 121. I don't think I'm going to help the T22. I think he's going to go down, but I get a shot in. He's going to go down. He's really struggling with the 121. I'm going to finish him off. Now I need to back away. I'm worried about the Crown Wagen. We've already lost two tanks. The Crown Wagen knows where I am now, or he will do in a moment. There you go. I put a shot into him. Thankfully, because I'm at an angle, I managed to bounce. I won't bounce his second shot, I don't think. Oh, he's not going to shoot at me. Yes, he is. I get a good track shot. And now I want to sort of get away from him because he's now zoomed in on me. I want to take that cap. I want to get the cap out of the way. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to line myself up so the Kranwagen can't shoot me. Plus, I know that there are other tanks there. Oh, an AMX is popped. I can get a shot into him, get a nice roll, 420. I've tried to get the track, but it doesn't work. I'm aiming just above the tracks here. I'm going to try and get another shot in. This time I do get the tracking shot as well. So if somebody puts a shot into him, that will give me some decent damage. I put a blind shot in, but he's moved. I've now taken the base. I've done just over 1700 damage. I've taken one kill. There's the AMX. He pops just as I fire, which is annoying. I know a grill is down there. So I, and I also know that a lot of their tanks are on overlooking the sea cap. So I'm going to go this way. I want to rush down towards the AMX and the grill if possible. The AMX is now dead. I know the grill is behind this rock. So I'm going to rotate this way. I'm going to drop down and hopefully catch him by surprise. I think think however he's on to me and um, i come around the corner there he is he misses but so do i so it was mutual missing now i've got a better reload than him i can load the he get up close and personal so he can try and bounce my turret because the turret on this thing is rock solid he misses again my tune mate puts a good shot in i may be able to finish him off no i can't yes i can because i get an engine fire Kranwagen has come around to chase me i'm going to try and hide behind the grill but i don't get his bottom plate he's out the game now it's three against two there's a waffle tractor still out there which worries me and um, another pretty pretty nasty tank so i want to hug this ridge here why because just up by those bushes that you can see is a good haul down position just around here here comes a clown wagon i'm gonna angle up stay all down put a good shot into him my tune mate also puts a shot into him i'm gonna now keep making sure that he can only hit my turret nothing else try and get round put a shot into him again get his lower plate 
I'm going to just keep toying with him and farming off him at the moment, staying all down all the time. As you can see, I mean, it's only a little bump, but it's a big enough bump to hide your hull unless he comes around like that. But it's too late. He's now committed. He's going to put some into me, but I've got plenty of hit points and I'll be able to take him out. He's now a one shot. And here we go. There he goes. So 5,219 damage. Waffle Tractor is down to a one shot. My Toon Mate takes him out. That is how I played that game. Four kills, 5,219 damage. A nice mastery. And as you can see there, between us, we did about 9,000 damage. So that's been my thought process on those two games. One is a win, one is a loss. I've been Fujit. I hope that has been helpful. I'd like to say a big thank you to all my Patreons and YouTube members, because without you, these videos would be a lot harder. And a big thank you to my subscribers. And without you, these videos would be meaningless. If you've got any decent videos, of course, send them across to me. By all means, comment and everything below. And I hope you had a Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a Happy New Year. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.